So we're going to do a simple circuit today. To start off, I've opened LT Spice. I'm going to click on New Schematic. And then we'll make two resistors in parallel and one in series in between them. And this will be connected to a DC voltage source. So I go to components and I type voltage to get a DC source. And I click on resistors. I put two in parallel. R to rotate. And I use the wire button to draw the necessary wires. Everywhere you have to take a turn, you just click the mouse. And rest, you just scroll down or drag. Everywhere I want to make a connection, I'm also clicking. So there we go. We have a DC voltage source, and we have two resistors and one in series between them. So now let's pick up the values. So for the DC voltage source, I'm going to say it's 5 volts. And no series resistance, which means it's just going to be an ideal DC source. If this was a more realistic scenario where we're doing, then I would choose a, a series resistance for the DC source over here. I'm going to leave this as blank, which means zero. For R1, I'm going to choose the value of 100 ohms. For R2, I'm also going to choose value 100 ohms. And for R3, I'm also going to choose the value of 100 ohms. So I basically have 100 ohms with um, 100 ohms over here and 100 ohms in for R2. So if you take a look at the circuit, what do you think would happen? Do you see any series parallel combinations? Do you think R1 and R2 are in parallel? Or R3 and R2 are in series? Yeah, so it's option B. Basically, R2 and R3 are in series, and this will make a resultant 200 ohm resistor, which will be in parallel with 100 ohms R1. And all this, basically the parallel combination of R3 plus R2 and R1 would be in parallel with the voltage source V1. So if we were to simplify this, this would just become, I'm going to delete this one. So now we have these two resistors, but Combining R3 and R2, we get the value of this is 200 in series. And now these two in parallel, what, would, what is that going to be? Well, it's going to be 1 over 200 plus 1 over 100. So 1 over 200 plus 1 over 100. And this whole thing would be 1 over that will give us the value. So basically 1 divided by 0 0.015. So 1 divided by 0 0.015 will give us 66.67. So the resultant uh, resistance of these two in parallel is going to be 56.67. One thing to note always when you have two parallel resistances, the resultant resistance will always be less than the lowest value that we have over here. So we have 200 in parallel with 100. So the resultant of these two parallel resistors will be a value that is less than 100. So we already know the value is 66.67 ohms, which is less than 100. 
Now let's see what the voltage would be. You know the voltage over here is 5 volts. Similarly, these are all in parallel, so the voltage over here would be 5 volts as well, and 5 volts over here as well. Now how do we find the current that's going to go through R1, and how do we find the current that's going to go through R2? Well, the current that's going to go through R1 is nothing but V over R. So V is 5 volts, and R is 100. So the current in this line would be 5 over 100, which is 50 milliamps. And over here would be 5 over 200, which would be 250 milliamps, or 25 milliamps, sorry. So let's see if this is correct. So now to simulate this, I'm going to go to simulate, run, and I'm going to do a transient analysis, which means a time varying analysis. So I need to go from time equals zero to times time equals say one second. And I'm going to hit OK. So now we're oh, we forgot to add a ground. So we're going to go here and add a ground to the circuit. There we go. So you have a reference node according to which all the other voltages would be set. Now we're going to go ahead again and simulate and run. And now it remembers the last command. So we're doing a transient analysis from zero to one second. And now you can see that these uh, the cursor changes to a probe when I hover over any node, and this uh, icon that depicts current, so it shows the current direction as well. Um, so I want the voltage here, you know that's going to be 5 volts, so we have 5 volts, 5 volts here, 5 volts here, and 5 volts here. Now we want to look at the current, so let's see. So the current through R1 is 50 milliamps, and the current through R2 is 25 milliamps and you can see it's color coded so IR2 is red so the red line depicts the uh, current through R2 and IR1 is blue so depicting the current through R1 which is 50 and then uh, V uh, at node 1 which is this node is 5 volts. So that's our first circuit series and parallel resistances.